when we head away for our tournaments for Aon Sevens, which is the Australian um, National Series um, for Sevens women, uh, in the women's, um, basically we'll travel up on a Friday um, and come back on a Sunday. Um, that weekend, there's a million different things that will happen, but basically on the, the day that we actually play rugby, it's getting up that morning, um, making sure the players know what the day ahead looks like, trying not to give them too much information because they um, don't remember a lot of things. Um, so, you know, providing their sort of their morning, what their morning looks like, when they need to be at breakfast, getting up, um, getting them, getting their kit ready, um, laying it out, getting them to come and pick it up basically, and then getting dressed. And then when we arrive at the fields, uh, putting up their timings for that first game. Um, we always just focus on one game at a time um, for the day. Um, and then getting them kitted up to warm up and then I sort of hand over to the coach and then it comes down to in the game scoring and all of those little things on Rugby Flora um, and then it all repeats itself basically. Game day starts early <laughs> for the manager. You know, there's a few people you might be following up, making sure they're definitely coming, making sure people remember silly things like their boots and their mouth guard and anything else that, you know, they need to bring if they wear um, certain protective padding or even knee braces, there's a lot of reminders that happen, and I always thought, because we share things on a Facebook page together, I always like to share some positive, you know, um, meme or whatever you want to call it, you know, I'd post it up so everyone gets excited for the game. Um, sometimes also it, I'd organize music with another player that's got the little, for lack of a better word, boombox or, you know, um, speaker so that could be inside the change rooms as we're getting ready and People provide different songs that help pump them up, you know, so getting all that ready. And then, of course, as the manager, you're in charge of everything else that's on the sidelines, you know, extra strapping, extra um, deep heat, you know, extra getting the water bottles organized, making sure all the jerseys um, are washed and ready to go. All the numbers are allocated to the, the particular players. It's all been logged accordingly with the app, because before there wasn't an app, it was all through paperwork, and it had to get faxed in. That just shows my age. And, um, you know, so there's, there's just lots of stuff in the background before um, game day and then on game day, making sure that um, everyone's got what they need so that they can just take the field and focus on the game and not have to worry about their top not fitting or their, sh they didn't, their shorts don't fit. They don't have the right socks, you know, all, all those little things that can play in a player's mind when really they just need to focus on the game. Yeah, so uh, kickoff is normally at 1.30 for us this season, so I'm up at about 10, um, organizing to make sure no one is calling in sick, to make sure everyone's got what they need. Um, I've always got a spare pair of socks, shorts, jersey, and mouth guard in the kit, just in case someone's forgotten them. Um, I'm making sure that everyone, if we're traveling to um, a location, making sure that everyone's got a carpool buddy and they're on their way. I have an idea of who's going to be running late, whose alarm didn't go off, um, and then when we're actually at the pitch, I'm uh, when we're actually at the pitch, I'm distributing jerseys, um, inputting that into the rugby app, and then just making sure that everyone's kind of pumped up. Like we've, I bring down a Bluetooth speaker, so music's playing, and everyone's kind of in that nervous energy. Um, and then once the uh, warm ups are going, I'm helping up setting cones. I'm going to go talk to the ref to introduce myself, say hello. Um, and then also checking if the other manager is all good, if we need to help scoring. We work pretty closely with the other team to make sure that we're all on the same page and everyone's got a touchy. And so everything is ready for when um, we kick off. The players don't have to worry about all of that fringe stuff and they can focus on the game.